Hi y'all, welcome to Bam Glam DIY. So about a month ago, I taught you guys on my channel here on how to produce foam booster. A little quantity of it I sampled that day. So some persons have developed interest in this foam booster and that I even got an order to even make it for 5 liters and supply to somebody. So I decided to shoot the video of the production from the beginning of it to the end so that you guys can also learn how to make this type of foam booster. You can see it looking like the store-bought liquid detergent that you buy in the market. It's highly viscous, it's clear, it's glassy looking and it is very, very potent. It can actually, a drop of it can make a lot of foams and a lot of bubbles. You can use it for any type of production like bar soap production, um, hair shampoo, liquid detergent, fabric washes, car washes. You can use it as your foam booster. So if you have somebody that you can make it and supply to, good and fine. If you want to add fragrance to it and add a little bit coloring to it, please feel free to also do, do that. So this is highly potent. We'll also be discussing each of the components we are using, their functions and why we need it in this production so that you actually understand what it means to make foam booster. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching my videos and liking my videos. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Bam Glam DIY. Subscribe to my channel and you expect more from this channel. Thank you all. So let me start by listing the three basic items we'll be using. From the first time I made this foam booster, it is these three same things I used. It doesn't change. So we'll need sulfonic acid, 500 ml. So please just get me a jotter and a pen and write down the formulation as we go. So you need sulfonic acid, which is also known as lapsa. 500 ml. You will need Texapon, also known as SLES. We also need it 500 grams of it. We need the combination of this high foaming agent or, or call it high surfactant to be able to work. And then we we'll need some 80 grams of caustic soda, otherwise known as lime. We need it to activate the sulfonic acid so that it can be very, 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 very potent. So watch me and see how I go about this production. I hope you have penned it down. So let's move into the production method. So first of all, you need to add in your sulfonic acid. Like I said, sulfonic acid is also known as lapsa, linear archive benzene sulfonic acid. You find it in most of the cleaning products that you see in the market, ranging from tile cleaner, surface cleaner, dishwashing liquid, industrial cleaner. You need it because it is actually one of the cheapest surfactant to buy. The second is the SLES, also known as Texapon, that we are combining together to give us a high foaming power in this product. Texapon is also known, I'm using the N70 by the way, please not the N30. I'm using N70 of Texapon, the thick one, not the liquid one. It's also known as SLES, which is sodium laureate ether sulfate. It is found in your shower gel. It is found in your body sh uh, shower gel. It is found in your shampoos. It's found in your dishwashing liquid, in your fabric wash. These are all foaming agents. Alternatively, they are actually called surfactants in the market. You understand? But they are very cheap for you to source. There are different types of foaming agents there. There is a AOS, alpha olefin sulfonate, there are etoxylates, there are cocoa beans, there are amides, there are a whole lot of them. The diquats and the rest of them. That they are all surfactants and foaming agents, but they are divided into different types. It is something that if you want to learn about it, you have to go and read it up on Google to know which and which of them goes um, together. That is why it is actually very possible for us to make this particular production without adding in any single thickener like uh, gum thickeners like a natural so or hurt any any thickener like anti so in it and yet it's still foamed and yet it's still very thick yes you'll be surprised that we wouldn't we wouldn't even use any salt 
and yet it will still be thick. There are different surfactants that you can combine together to have an accurate texture. This is why company formulations are different from the ones we formulate at home. You understand when these companies are mixing their surfactants example let's take for instance they want to make shower gel they don't need to start using any gum thickener for it but the way they will proportion and quantify it will just come out very thick and fine and lovely just like the way you want it to be meanwhile i added one liter of water to the 80 grams of caustic soda to dissolve it the function of this caustic soda is to help us to activate our sulfonic acid if you read up your information very well online you will see that when you buy sulfonic acid in the market it is in its will i say original state you need to activate it with something of a high alkaline nature something like potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide so that you can raise the ph of the sulfonic acid from at pH 1 to somewhere around pH 7. When it gets to this pH 7 and above, that is when the sulfonic acid is, is being activated so that it can function properly as a degreaser and then as a stem remover, foam booster and the rest of them. If you use it the way it is, you may not actually get the best from it. But somebody who combined their sulfonic acid very well and activated it very well who may have more foaming power than somebody who does not. So there are lots of videos online that teaches about how to activate sulfonic acid. So you can also learn more from them to see how to properly activate your sulfonic acid to get the detergents out of it. You understand? It's not when it is in real form that it serves as a foaming agent and as a degreaser to remove grease stains on plates. It is when it is being activated and the pH or will the pH being raised up from acidic medium to alkaline medium that it will, will work perfectly well for you. So that is why we are adding this caustic soda. And then when this pH of this um, sulfonic acid is being raised a little bit, now in the presence of texapon, the two of them being mixed together in this medium will now form a very high viscous liquid without you adding salt to it you understand so this is about this is just the basic um well, i said the basic chemistry behind me making this recipe for you guys i hope you love this recipe and i hope that you try it out i've gotten so many whatsapp messages on my phone people telling me bam glam look at the foam booster i've made it i've made mine starting from the first video i dropped about foam booster uh, last month I've seen I've seen so many messages about it. Some persons have sent me a lot. I've done it. My own came out well. Mine is fine. Some persons even colored it. You understand? So please make it. You will love it. Keep it aside, especially if you are purely into production. You will need something like this for your bath soap making. Even if you are making cold process soap, hot process soap, semi hot process soap, you can use it. At least 100 ml, 200 ml per liter production you are making, you are good to go. For those who are also into liquid detergent, you can also add it up to boost your foaming. When somebody tells you that the, ah, the liquid detergent you sold to us is not foaming, you don't have to start running. You don't need to start running around. You just have foam booster that you've already prepared from my channel. So just go and add it up to the production you've made and then sell to the person. Okay? So please, I hope you guys understand. So now I'm going to add in the rest of the water. So I started with one liter making. I'm adding only a total of four liters of water to this production. Please, four liters of water. I started with one liter. Now add the remaining three liters. This remaining three liters, my cup can take one and a half liter at a go. So I first added the first one and a half liter. Then I'll add the next one and a half liter. Then I'll turn it very well, mix it properly, make sure everything is well incorporated in before you can now set it aside overnight for you to clear out. By the next day, you will just have magic in front of you and you'll be impressed by this production because just use a little bit and wash up the, the, the dirty dishes on your sink and you will notice the high performance of this product. I hope you will try it out and I hope you will also recommend your friends to follow my channel. I hope you have liked my video by now. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel.
So stop wasting money going to the market to go and buy phone booster. That is not potent. Make it yourself. These are the samples people made and sent me on my WhatsApp that I just tagged on the screen right now. So once you finish missing, just set it aside. By the next morning, your everything must have dissolved properly and your products must have settled and uh, become very, very, very uh, viscous. I hope you try this one out and I hope it will help out in one, in one or two ways in your production. So this is how it looks the next day. This is probably around six hours after production. Six to seven hours after production. Look at how it has cleared out. Can you see how clear and glassy it is looking? It's looking very, very glassy. And then it is very viscous. Let's try out the consistency and see what it will give us. I will say that the texture is amazing. It's mind blowing. Don't worry, just try this out. You, you would so much love it. You fall in love with the production, I'm telling you. I don't, I did not bother adding any color. The sulfonic acid will have already, will already have an impact on giving it an amber color. I'm good with it. Have you bought cocoa amide from the market before or foam boosters and it comes in this color, the quality ones? Have they sold this kind of color of foam booster to you in Ojota in anywhere you are staying? Do you know that it might actually be this that they made and sold to you at a liter for 5,000 naira? Do you know? Do you know that it is this that they might have actually sold to you as one liter of foam booster to be 5,000 naira or 4,000 naira? Don't be surprised. With me on this channel, you are going to save a whole lot in your production. If you are also interested in learning how to make bar soaps, you are learning how you want to learn how to make liquid detergents of all kinds, different types of whom products you want to learn bar soap from starting to finishing to packaging to your table cutters do well to send me a whatsapp message for inquiries if you also have in mind to go into any other production at all please just send me a whatsapp message we can actually discuss it and then i will help you to formulate a good recipes for your product and you go into business there is no, the economy is not very suitable for you to just sit at home and be idle. So you have to be up and doing, do something, produce, sell and make money. The producers are at the point of making a whole lot of money in the recent economy. Thank you for not going anywhere. Thank you for watching this video up to this end. I hope you are loving the outcome of these products. Thank you everybody.